my name is Kawesi Mark. I am a Ugandan hip hop artist and a change agent. And by this I mean that uh, I use uh, hip hop and creative arts to uh, empower and uh, to so basically use hip hop, creative arts, education and other alternative ways of learning to uh, empower young people and uh, to empower young people and uplift communities. Well, um, my uh, story is that uh, I grew up in a slum, and uh, at the age of uh, well, at the age of six, I lost my dad, and at the age of fifteen, I lost my mom. So, which meant that I uh, had to figure things out. I had to turn into a man when I was still a boy. So, it was uh, was it easy? No, it wasn't. It was tough, and uh, education was a problem because I couldn't uh, afford it. I had no money at all, and I was homeless for four years. So, out of that. Uh, growing up was tough, not easy at all, and uh, you know, I'd be a little bit of here and there, trying to, to, to find ways to keep to stay to keep myself in school by uh, working after school and then coming back, and uh, you know, and uh, so so working in the evenings and then going to school during the day, and it was it was one of the the toughest things and challenges that I've ever gone through. But again, I'm proud and happy that I took that way because. You never know. I would, I would have ended up with anyone on the street right now, or maybe anyone in, in jail, or anyone here and there. But uh, it was, it was uh, a thin line between ending up there and in, ending up where I'm now. So growing up in Uganda uh, or growing up in Kampala, it depends what your what your family background or what your financial background is. So if some people are good, then you grow up well. But if some people are financially uh, not well, growing up can be tough. Because you have all these expenses and all these things you have to take care of that, look, that, that, are, that are facing you, so which can be really tough. And then it's easier, it's, it's easy to, to, to uh, end up on the street or end up uh, be, uh, doing crime of, default, of, of, of uh, any kind of sort that can get you in trouble. dancing when I was 16, but I, I learned about hip-hop when I was uh, 18. That was my first time to get involved in hip-hop. I used to listen to music before then, but I wasn't, I, I wasn't exposed to, uh, to, 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 the, to, the, to the dancing side of hip-hop before I was 18. But uh, I remember the age of um, uh, 16, I started uh, trying out um, South African dance, because that's what I was exposed to. Uh, at the church where I was going at that time. My brother and I, uh, my brother tried to do some break dancing. Well, we, we called it break dancing then, but it was actually trying to do waving and poking. But uh, he wasn't good at it either. But I mean, he used to teach me because they said uh, among the blind, one eyed man is a king. So maybe he knew two, three moves you know, more than I did, but he was better at that time. So he started taking me through you know, some of those. And then uh, a friend of mine, um, that I was attending some school with invited me to join a uh, breakdance with in Uganda, which at first I didn't want to join because he told me the program was free. But uh, before then, before that, I had never been into anything that was free. Because usually they would tell you, hey, come, come and do this and this. Especially uh, in, uh, I would say, churches, they tell you, come and do this for free. But again, they have expectations. So I told them, yeah, I don't want to try this. I don't think it's my thing. And he told me, yeah, just come out, you know, come out and do something. And then, uh, yeah, so since, so, so, so he invited me to join the program, but since joining it, it was, it was good, it was fun. Um, a was that uh, being uh, uh, financially, being, being, I, would, I won't call it being poor, because that's how it is, but being financially not well. And then being raised in a, 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 in a broken community, in a community that was less advantaged, so everyone was trying to take advantage of everyone, no matter what. And, uh, Growing through that kind of community taught me a lot of things, and one of them was that how much, uh, however good you are, the community itself can break you. Or however good intentions you have, a community itself can break you, because people are desperate. Everyone is trying to do something. So however good you are and you're trying to help out, or you're trying to do this and that, in the, in, in, with the intention of helping or uplifting others, 
uh, someone else will always want to take advantage of you, will, will try to take your, your, your advantage of your kindness for weakness. So growing through, you know, like with a, with a, a not being able to go to school, or even though the schools that I could, I could afford, they were uh, poor standard schools. So growing, growing through, through that community taught me to um, collaborate with people, work with people, um, rely on people, support people, and, uh, and work together to achieve things and, and uh, better our community. Our